We're in North London this week, visiting a new real gardener, Pat Wallace and his wife Sandy. He's known as Pat the Cab after seven years as a London cabbie, and he has a passion for plants. When he's not picking up fares, his cab's often stuffed full of palms. Well, I was actually a set of lights one day, and a guy got in the back and actually got the door open, but couldn't get in because there were so many plants in there. Well, I did explain that I wasn't working, but he said he was desperate for a cab, so in the end I gave him a free ride to where he was going and he sat amongst the plants. Pat is a connoisseur of tender exotic plants. His small courtyard garden in Islington is a jungle of palms and tree fern. The good thing about this garden, it's evergreen. If you have English plants, if you come in October or you come out in January, there's nothing, it's just dead ground. But you come out here, you're on holiday. I'm in Portugal, I'm in Greece, and I can look around and find all those sort of plants. That's the reason for the garden. But Pat's wife, Sandy, sees the practical side of creating this urban paradise. He spends a fortune on these palms. <laughs> Mind you, he's always down the market and getting them at good prices, but he, he does spend a lot of money. Pat's plants are thriving, but they can't be seen to their best advantage. He really needs some design advice, which is where Anne-Marie Powell comes in. Wow! This is a jungle, not a garden, isn't it? Well, I've got you here to uh, sort the design it, haven't I? <laughs> Everyone that comes in says it's a collection, not a garden. Yeah. So hopefully we're going to get that sorted. Yeah, because it is almost like being in a nursery, isn't it? Just this row of palms along there. There's about eight or nine varieties can in there. Can you talk me through them? I can, yeah. Amazing. This one's a Guadeloupe palm. Right. And I just like the colour. It's just it's that beautiful. little bit brighter than most of them are quite dark, but this is quite bright. Where are you getting all your plants from? Uh, some come in suitcases when we go on holiday. Do you? <laughs> This one I grew from seed. Did you the really? First one that I grew. phoenix? Yeah. I brought that back from Portugal about 15 years ago. You've got a lot of plants in pots as well, haven't you? Why haven't you put them in the ground? Um, to get height, really. To, to back it out, it's to get a bit reason. more height, yeah. It's funny, though, because they're just kind of, like, jammed together, aren't they? And I don't think... Because they're along here, you can't really appreciate each one for its own merits. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> if I laid them up properly, I wouldn't have half the palms I got. Right, OK. I've run out of space. I can only go up now. Yeah. 